on another trip. We're on another trip. Okay, let me do my intro really quick. Hey guys, it's your girl my today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, guys. How's it going? As you guys can see, we're in Chicago. I'm so excited, y'all. I've never been to Chicago. Never been. But the city honestly looks really nice right now. Outside, it's just a little. It's foggy and it's gloomy. This is my view. Oh, there's a man in there in his bed. Um, yeah, this is my view. This is literally a, a whole apartment, but you can see like the river. I have to go on the other side, but you can see the river on the other side just a little bit. The room is super nice. Like I love this room. This is probably like my favorite hotel. I've stayed at, I think I say that at every hotel that I go to, but I think this one is actually my favorite. Like when I got here, they have little bellmen. So they like grab your bags and they walk you to your area and they do, they just do everything. They like bring you water. It's just so nice. So I love that. I love when hotels have that. Also, if you guys remember staying at the Ritz, they did it at the Ritz. And they also have breakfast. So I will be ordering breakfast in tomorrow, which I'm super excited for that. On the agenda today, we have dinner reservations at 8. It's currently 3.30. And I want to unpack my suitcase just like a little bit, just to like get everything out because the closet is so nice. Like, I think the only other hotel that I had like a super nice closet like this was at the Ritz. And I never really unpacked it, but I unpacked a little bit. I unpacked enough, which that was nice. So I think I'm going to end up doing that again and kind of just relax. I want to be out of here by like four to go walk around. I was supposed to go have dinner at this or I was supposed to go have lunch, but I got here a little late. I should have pushed back my dinner reservations a little later than eight because it's coming through there. And if I go eat now, I'm not going to be hungry for later. And when I'm getting later, I need like a full appetite for it. I love this. This is like New York. Can y'all see the cats? This is like when you spy on them in New York. This man, oops. I would show this man, but this man is living life. He's sitting here on his bed, looking out his window, enjoying the view. Just like, oh, that, I want to move to a high rise so bad. But, okay, back on track. I I think I'm going to still walk down there because all I was going to get was like truffle fries and pasta. But I may actually end up getting it tomorrow. Yeah, because if I order breakfast here tomorrow, and then we go grab pizza, and then we get, we go to that restaurant, and then we go to, yeah, I'm going to Nobu tomorrow. <laughs> I've never been to Nobu! And I don't like raw fish. Well, I'm not going to say I don't like it because I've never actually tried it. So let me not say I don't like it. I've never had it. And Nobu's expensive, so I'm hoping that there's like top tier and that it's actually good and it's not a waste of money. But I literally want like 20 things that are on the menu. But obviously I'm not about to get all like 20 things because it's expensive. Let me show you guys my airport fit. Ugh, I love these like big windows because it brings in so much natural natural light. So my sweatsuit set, I need this one. This is from White Fox, of course. Then I just have like a little, I just have a little like white tee underneath. It honestly got so hot on the plane coming here. It got so hot on the plane coming here and I was like, yeah, I need to take this off. But then I, I didn't, I should have though. But yeah, this is so, if you guys come here and you're over 21, they actually give you like a fully stocked bar. Like this whole thing is fully stocked. And this is the breakfast menu. We'll show that later. This is the bar menu. They have like sprites and stuff in here. So I'm like, why didn't they... And they took all the snacks. Who's paying $12 for m and I'm glad they actually took the snacks because no. Okay. Oh, you can buy the shampoo. Oh my God, you can buy the mattress. Oops. Y'all, you can literally have the mattress set on here. And the mattress. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. But y'all, I'm literally, I want to jump in this bed right now. Like, I am so excited to lay down in it. I'm obviously not going to do it now because I'm dirty. We're not going to do it now. But the bathroom, y'all, the bathroom eats. And they gave me a robe. Y'all, the robe, yeah. Most definitely going to be in that robe. The room I wanted, it was like a window in the shower. I really wanted that room, but could it, clearly I didn't get that room. I'm not going to like complain or anything, but it wasn't guaranteed that I was going to even get that room in the first place. I was just fingers crossed, you know, but it's okay. But this view, I wish I had a balcony, but beggars, I'm not a beggar. 
it's okay. We're still in like a prime location. There's the river. As you guys can see, and we're about to head down there and walk now. Ah, like y'all, I'm so excited to just be out of town. Like I love going out of town, I didn't know. Love it, love it, love it. I'm kind of just like frolicking around in my room. So we're about to go put on a little bit of makeup. Not too much because I want to do my makeup for dinner. And then I'm just going to like fix up my hair a little bit. But not too much because I'm going to come back and fix up again. I actually probably won't fix up my hair. Because I don't want to put that much heat on it. If I'm going to put heat on it later. Let's be smart about our healthy hair journey. Okay? Yeah, that's the vibe. I'm just about to connect to the YouTube. I'm about to connect to the YouTube and then I don't know just like enjoy my time I pack my suitcase I'm kind of just like rambling to you guys right now because I'm like so excited to be here but yeah this trip honestly should be really fun I'm super excited I'm so glad that I picked this hotel because at first I picked the moxie hotel and don't get me wrong like I love the moxie in New York but this one let's see how far this hotel was because this is like prime location like i'm right here on like michigan ave the best location i feel like i should have been in especially since i'm like here by myself i'm gonna stop rambling to you guys because i don't think anyone really even cares so yes next time you guys see me i will be heading out hopefully it's around like four o'clock 4 30. that's my update for you guys and i'll see you guys in a few okay guys i'm currently watching bridgerton <laughs> let me turn that off okay we're getting ready to head out it's currently 4 30. let me guys give you let me give you guys a quick big check we're just going out to explore the city and i'm not taking my camera if you guys watch most of my travel vlogs i normally don't because i'm just a little too shy when i'm by myself and in a different city maybe tomorrow but you guys have seen this outfit before i'm pretty sure i was gonna wear something different but i decided that i'm gonna wear that to dinner so i have my sambas on and then these shoes are from fashion nova my shirt's from fashion nova it's just like a one shoulder my bag Calvin Klein. Okay, we're about to head out. Whenever I leave, I always I have the key card and I have my wallet and my AirPods. We're actually about to put those in right now. We need to be back here at least by 6.30 so I can start getting ready for dinner because I need to leave here around like 7.40 for dinner. So, that's the vibes. I actually put on earrings too. Y'all, like I like actually got ready. Yay! I'm so excited. Let's head out. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So I walked to the Navy Pier. I walked around. But I was gonna go do some shopping, but I'm gonna just do that tomorrow. And then, cause I really don't have too much planned for tomorrow. And then, what else? All right, I'm about to go back to the hotel because they have food and I can eat there. And I don't feel like walking around, they have like a whole restaurant and everything. So we'll just eat there. So that's where I'm heading now. I'm doing that later. getting ready for dinner and I like actually need to hurry up but my hair as you can see 
is poofy as heck. So I'm just like, mm, do I just leave it like this or do I, you know, go over it like one pass? Is this the vibe? <laughs> it just looks like I didn't do my hair. So I don't know if that's the vibe. I'll probably just go over it just a little bit and try to like bump the ends under. In the meantime, in between time, while this is heating up, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the makeup because I don't even have a headache like I went downstairs and I grabbed food when I came back and then like my I thought my headache would go away but it didn't so I'm I'm thinking it's from that McDonald's that I ate earlier today oh yeah I didn't tell you guys about that when I was in the airport I had a layover in Denver and I got McDonald's and then after who got in a fight here like the outlet is the alley is freaking broke. It's giving ghetto. So when I was in the airport during my layover in Denver, I got this like, oh my God, I'm gonna insert a picture. It was so good. I got a waffle and I got a hash brown from McDonald's. So I'm thinking that's it. Or it could be that I, cause I, it could be that I haven't been drinking enough water. Um, cause I couldn't really tell you the last time I had some water. Um, which I know that's bad. Y'all normally I wear, I put like concealer on, on my breakouts, but like I really don't have any. I could be like really blind right now. and just like not wanting to see them. But like I legit can't see them. Like, ugh. But I'm not putting that much makeup on because when I come back, ooh, I'm gonna hop in the shower, y'all. Ooh, that shower's gonna hit. And then wash my face and get ready to go to sleep and get ready for the day tomorrow i'm still trying to debate how early i want to wake up in the morning tomorrow i'm not quite sure because i know like when i was in seattle i what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna push back my nobu reservations from eight to like nine ish o'clock because i really want to see the sunset and i don't get to see it tonight because i have a dinner reservation so that's sad and i love my sunsets okay i love my sunset views but i think on tuesday tuesday's the day that i leave um i don't think i told you guys yeah i leave on tuesday i'm only here for like a little weekend trip so i leave on tuesday and i think that day i think i'm gonna wake up early and go watch the sunset from like the pier um don't quote me though if i don't 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 be mad but like I think that would be fun and like go on a little run like I think I'm gonna start bringing like workout clothes whenever I go out of town because it's actually oh when I come back from dinner that's what I'm gonna do when I come back from dinner and I don't have any like lounge walk around the hotel pajamas in because I like to go scope the scenery out I don't know about y'all but I do so I like to go see like what the pool looks like and like what the fitness center looks like and all of that and i only have my outfit that i'm wearing back and the outfit that i wore here my little sweatpants which i mean i guess that's fine i'll probably just come back to the hotel and i'm wearing heels tonight so i'm not gonna be able to walk around too long but i'm not sure if this area is like the best area i mean no who's in this area we're not going to Nobu today though. We're going to El Chai. And they're like in the same area. So I'm just like, if Nobu's in the area, I feel like it can't be, you know, that bad. So I'm just going to go. Why does my foot feel numb? We're just going to go to dinner and then we're going to come back. <laughs> and then we're probably going to call it a night. I may come up here and change my shoes. Mm, I don't know though. I don't know. If I come back up here and change my shoes, you guys will definitely find out and know. If not, then you guys will probably just see me walk around the hotel. Right now, it is currently, I hope it's no later than 5.30 because I need to be leaving at 5.30. And y'all see what I look like? Literally have on my robe. So, I was, I'm going to talk to you guys tonight and then tomorrow when I'm going to be here for dinner, I probably won't talk to you guys because I want to film a TikTok. And y'all, I really wish 
that I bought one of those like Octobuddies or that I had one because those things are so cool and cute. Like, I need an Octobuddy. Octobuddy. From my little walking around today, I would say I like Chicago. It just it's not much to do okay maybe because like i didn't really do much today because i know when i went to seattle i actually had like a lot planned that day and i was like on the go the whole day but i was literally just like traveling all day so i feel like i didn't really get to enjoy the city too much my timing wasn't the best i i don't really know what i was thinking when i was making my itinerary i didn't really make one for today and i don't really have one for tomorrow neither but tomorrow is packed um, it's kind of just like a go with the flow. My face looks really white because the lighting in here is not good. It's currently 7.22. So we're going to run over my hair really quick with a flat iron. Um, nothing too crazy because my hair, it doesn't look too bad, you know. Um, tomorrow when I go to Nobu, I'm actually going to take the time and to... This restaurant is like a really upscale restaurant too. So I mean... I should probably take it more serious, but my outfit, I'm wearing heels. If I'm wearing heels, babes, you know, you know it's out there because she does not like to wear heels. I feel like I've just been like rambling to you guys and talking about a whole bunch of nonsense, but I honestly like when my videos are like this. And if you don't, I'm so sorry, but I like to talk. Ugh. I never realized it until I actually made like my YouTube channel and I can talk and talk and talk. And talk and talk and talk and it's just like girl what are you even talking about y'all if i ever make a hotel i would, i honestly think i would do great in the hotel business like it would be a top tier hotel like everything you would need would be in that hotel hair dryer straighteners bomb lighting modern aesthetic nice bathroom a little bar a bomb a bomb room service menu like do i need to figure out how to start a hotel because i mean this hotel is good but it has negatives too and obviously my hotel wouldn't be able to like make everybody like it but the majority yeah y'all see what i mean by i just be talking like girl i'm about to finish my makeup and I'm not gonna talk you guys' head off anymore. Let me make up in 10 minutes, I will say. Your girl's quick with makeup. Okay, y'all, this room doesn't have the best lighting, but we're all done. I would just use this for a sec. I did my makeup. This is my outfit. I wore this to my brother's graduation. I just threw some cute little heels on. And it's literally the same bag. And I have the same jewelry that I had on from earlier. And yeah, we're about to head out. I don't think I'm gonna take my camera because this bag is pretty small <laughs> so this is the look we're about to go to el che so let's go a mm, 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 mm. <laughs>
guys, I forgot to give you guys an update for the day. So I got dressed and I got ready. That's what I got on. And then we're at the Starbucks Reserve, as you guys can tell. I just got an iced um, latte with oat milk and caramel. Okay. Got my coffee. It's not that good, but I don't really like Starbucks, so I'm pretty sure that's fine. And if you watch, watch the last one, I got a cinnamon roll, and then I also got a tiramisu. Let me say that for later. Yeah. I think Seattle is better. $40. Y'all look at the building. It like curves and then goes up. That's so cool to me. Okay guys, I know I haven't talked to you guys in a minute, but I just want to give you guys an update. So we just had the pizzeria, pizzeria Portofino, and I thought the food was good. I got the Keche a Pepe, which is basically like Parmesan cheese and black pepper, black, black pepper flakes. I'm pretty sure, but that was good. I would rate it like a seven, seven out of 10. It was okay. The one that I had in Miami was better, but I think it's cause it was just a little bit more like cheesy and the noodles were different i feel like the noodles have a big difference so right now just walk around yeah Ooh. slow down that's fine Good thing you got <laughs> so i've kind of left you guys i ain't driving i did vlog a little bit but i just haven't talked to you guys and i don't even think i started this video so we're gonna start it now even though you guys have literally seen my whole day but it's okay so I'm currently doing my makeup because we're about to go to dinner. We're going to Nobu. I'm so excited. My outfit too is really cute. I got this dress and I never wear dresses. I'm like low-key in a rush because the reservation's at 7.45 and I thought it was 8. But it's most definitely 7.45. I just got the reminder. So I was like, oh, let me, let me get a move on it. So I need to do my makeup and my hair in less than 30 minutes. Can we do it? I think so. We'll see them. I don't want to do too much makeup because then I have to come home and take all it off. And that's just like, you know, five percent right. But, y'all, you know, when I put this bronzer on, that's how you know I'm really going somewhere now. Y'all, yeah, every time I want to do like extra with my makeup, it always doesn't end up looking right. So. We're not gonna do that. It's currently 7.08. Which I feel like I'm making pretty good timing. It's not too bad. Not too bad. But today was honestly really fun. I didn't do everything that I wanted to do. But tomorrow I am. So tomorrow I'm gonna go on like that riverboat cruise that I was telling you guys about. And then we're also gonna go get pizza. I have yet to get pizza. So, but I did try one of the restaurants that I really want to try. I've tried two out of the three restaurants that I really want to try, so one is win. But yeah, I really like Chicago. I still think that I like New York more, but I think I'm just a New York girl. New York was just so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm going back in August. I'm excited. And I can like really compare it to something because I've been to like all these other different places now.
Okay, I really hope this powder does not break me. Ow. I'm just giving, just giving ghost. The lighting in this bathroom is horrendous. Horrendous. It's 710. Y'all, I'm low key kind of stressing. Because I was going to curl my hair, and I saw him, so don't get it wrong. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna really have like enough time. I really don't know. What does this look like? Okay, she's not too. Oh my goodness. I feel like once I add like the final touches on, it'll be okay. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm wearing heels tonight and my legs hurt and I already can't walk in heels. Okay, not too much with eyebrows. I still try to keep them just a little natural. We're gonna move to the hair, which is not too bad. It's pretty straight. I'm just gonna add a little bit of curls to it. And then do a side part. I didn't get to give you guys an update because I was literally running out the door because like I said earlier, I forgot that my reservation was at 7.45 instead of 8. I was thinking 8 because my reservation last night was at 8. So, there's that. I, they really, I could have pushed it back earlier, but I just forgot. So, this is what I look like and now we're just waiting to get a menu. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I wasn't doing much talking at the restaurant. For one, it was super dark in there and you guys could not see me and I was not gonna be that person with their flashlight on. So we're just gonna give you a rundown. So the first thing that you guys saw is I had the yellowtail. The yellowtail was okay. I hate spicy food, so I tried it with the jalapeno first and it was spicy. And the second time I tried it, it was good. It was really lemony. It was really lemony. I'm gonna give it like a, a six, six and a half out of 10. It wasn't bad but I don't think I would order it again. Then the crispy tuna um, 
tartare thing that thing was good i'm gonna give that like an eight out of ten that one was really good i honestly would order another one but it was fine one was enough because it comes with two and then i got a wagyu taco and a ribeye taco the wagyu taco was good it was way more juicier than the ribeye but the ribeye had more flavor because it is the fattier part of the cow and then i had a bite of a crispy shrimp roll thing that was good it needed a little like eel sauce or something but we only had soy sauce and i'm not really a fan of soy sauce so that was that and then we had dessert the dessert was good i'm gonna just give it like a mm, what would you give the dessert like i'll give it like eight out of ten eight out of ten was good but now we're just walking around the city and seeing it at night so i'll show you guys around a little bit guys it is currently the next day i think it's actually it's 9 30 9 30 i'm about to get out yesterday i honestly had so much fun just like walking around the city and then nobu mm, that food was so good i'm for sure when i get back to arizona i'm going back to nobu for sure but my food like it really granted it was expensive but i thought it was gonna be more like if you're sensitive about money just click off right or just fast forward so my bill came to like 213 which wasn't bad it really wasn't bad or to me because i was thinking like 250 so we was really under budget so props to me Ugh. But yeah, yesterday was super fun. I know I didn't really talk to you guys that much, so I just like showed you guys the city. I hope you enjoyed that. This video is a little different than most of my travel videos because most of the time I'm like talking to you guys literally the whole time. And this time I kind of just like showed you guys the city, showed you guys around, and like didn't do a lot of talking. So on the agenda today, we're going to Joe and the Juice, which I'm super excited for because I love Joe and the Juice. And then we're gonna go do a riverboat cruise. And then we're just gonna like walk around all my stuff is packed up the checkout here is at one it's actually really late so i want to like get out and do everything before then oh we have to grab pizza we have to grab pizza before we go so that is the vibes just want to get get on here and give you guys like a quick little update since i haven't talked to you guys if you guys like me talking a lot in my travel vlogs let me know down in the comments or do you like a vlog that's more like showing you around the city and then jump in here and there to give you guys like little updates let me know what you guys think i'm i gotta see which vibe is my vibe so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the rest of today y'all i love this hotel like this is probably my favorite hotel that i've been in and i know that I say that at every hotel but this one is just like more me it's super modern it's super minimalistic like this room is me but yeah i just did a little slick back so yeah that's my outfit i'm literally wearing what i wore from the airport when I got here, I told you guys, don't talk about it. So don't talk about it. Okay. But yeah, that is the vibes. And I'll talk to you guys when we're on our way to Joe and the Juice. Mm -hmm. Major renovation took the first couple of levels. 
uh, kind of kind of off in front of us and a little bit on our right it is a ferris wheel and the ferris wheel marks the site of navy pier This is good. I'm gonna give the pizza like a like a let me get another bite. We'll do an eight and a half out of ten. This is better than that place that we went to on the river, the Pizzeria Portofino. That place was it was good. The vibes were there. The food just wasn't. That's all I got to think about it. The vibes were there. They were. We gave Italy. Hey guys, so it's a few days later. As you guys can see, I'm clearly not in Chicago anymore. I am back home and I'm currently in the park editing this vlog and I realized that I did not end it for you guys. So I'm gonna give like a quick little rundown. So after we grabbed pizza, we just went back to the hotel and chill because I ended up changing my flight to a later time and both of our phones were dead. So we needed to go charge those. So we're sitting in the lobby because we couldn't check into the, well, because we couldn't like, we didn't have room anymore because it was past checkout time. So we're sitting there and I like go, I think it's like four, my plane didn't start boarding till seven. So I wasn't gonna get there till like six. Okay, keep that in mind. So I'm in the lobby and something just tells me, just check Uber to make sure that like you're still on time. I go to check Uber at this time, it's probably like 4.50. It says that we're not gonna get there until exactly like 6.15. And I was like, mm, okay we need to go because like this is not and my plane kept getting delayed because of like the weather that was going on in texas weather that was going on in florida like it was just a bad travel day for like everybody but it wasn't too terrible oh my goodness so then i'm like okay let's go and so by this time we get into the uber and i'm like okay i may miss my flight because it wasn't saying that i was gonna get to the airport until like 6 30. So I was like planning to stay another day, but obviously I caught my flight and I did not end up staying another day, which is good because all that money, no. So we ended up making our flight and then we came home. So that was the update for like the airport. Chicago overall, I absolutely love Chicago. I don't think I could ever live in Chicago. Like it just seems a little too ghetto. Like even downtown was just ghetto to me. Like, I don't know what it was. Like it just felt ghetto. Like, you know how you feel something? Like, I don't know. I don't know if y'all can feel it, but I can feel it. It felt ghetto. I was by the sign that said like the Chicago by the theater. There were so many homeless and it just did not. I'm actually glad that I ended up, didn't end up going by myself. I mean, I would have been fine by myself regardless. I probably wouldn't have walks as late as I did at night since i would have been by myself but walking with someone through the city is always super nice just because you know you never know you don't have to really pay attention that much i mean still pay attention but you don't got to do it that much or at least i did it so anyways <laughs> i love chicago just a little ghetto i would go back for sure i'm gonna go back when i turn 21 so i can watch like go to some of the rooftop bars because those honestly look super super nice and it, yeah so thank you guys for watching my chicago vlog make sure to stay tuned because if you guys are caught up on my vlogs i have two more trips that i'm going on after this one so stay tuned because that is 
coming out next like the next vlog i'm pretty sure i'll be well two vlogs after that i'm going to vegas so stay tuned for that that'll be super fun thank you guys so much for watching metro too late comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more travel vlogs because i promise you they are on the way love you guys so much and i will see you guys next week